Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, evolving personally and professionally is what we all aim to do each and every day, but that can be difficult to do when life throws curves at you sometimes. Luckily, we had the chance to speak with one author, public speaker, and coach who has designed a 10 principle mindset to maximize your potential and your success rate. He's dedicated to empowering you when it comes to overcoming obstacles, staying healthy, staying focused, and staying on track. Here's to Today's Generation Inspiration. Well, good morning. My name is Joshua Gora, and uh, I originally grew up in Lawrence, Massachusetts, which is a, a, a small city north of Boston. Um, but I've been in Rhode Island now the last 20 years, but in New England my whole life. I mean, Change Your Minds to Change Your Future came from my own experience in my professional uh, career, right? So I've been in financial services for uh, almost 20 years now. And when I looked outside the box and I wanted to kind of expand, it, I realized it was more about uh, how we view the world and how we view each day and what the recipe is. And so that's how I came up with the title. Uh, but the 10 principles to maximize each day is something I coach entrepreneurs around. And it's something I do for myself. Uh, so everything I do, it's, it's something that I do myself or else I wouldn't empower other people to do it, right? The biggest takeaway is overcoming obstacles, right? Uh, I mean, I was fortunate to, I'm fortunate to still be here. I was in a uh, hit and run accident as a child. And I share that in the book, so I don't want to give it away. But, uh, you know, the fact that I'm here to tell the story is a, is a blessing in itself. So the biggest takeaway is you can do as much as you want, as much as you can on any given day as long as you apply the right mindset and the right philosophy around it. And that's how I came up with those 10 principles. Uh, and, and the top three for me are, are gratitude, self-care, and passion, right? The other seven, you can go to joshgore.com and see them uh, and view them and, and read the summaries. And I also in include a free workbook on there. But um, I really harp on those three uh, more than anything because if you're thankful for what you have in pursuit of what you want, it's a very different process, right, from day to day. And if you take care of you, you can take care of others. And the more we do that around other people, the more we empower other people to do that. Uh, joshgora.com is my website. Uh, also on Instagram, it's just my name, at Josh Gora. And then uh, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, but the book itself is on Amazon right now. I'm still working with Barnes & Noble. That should be up any, any day now. The Spanish version is in the works as well. So we're just translating and I speak Spanish fluently. So again, it goes around uh, empowering as many people as possible, especially in our communities and what, you know, folks that speak English and Spanish. I would say that the, the biggest thing is, you know, I, I finished, I started this book probably two years ago and, I, and it pushed me to do it last year in the middle of the pandemic because I'm looking around and there's a lot of uh, folks in depression, anxiety, you know, uh, obesity, all these different things. And people are like, well, where do I go? How do I change things? And that's kind of how that also came about that title, right? Like, how do I coach people to just take action? So I think the biggest thing is it, nothing's going to happen unless you take massive action and put it into, into work. But then people say, okay, well, I'm stuck. How do I actually start? And so that the 10 principles is literally a checklist. And my gift to everybody else is that I want to give them the gift of understanding, the gift of compassion, the gift of empathy. Uh, with themselves. And if they can understand that and really empower themselves around that way of thinking, uh, it, it's pretty uh, powerful what we can do. Josh says, if you can change your mindset, then you can change your future. And he urges you to go ahead and try following these 10 principles yourself. See what it can do in your life. For details on how to get started, feel free to check out his book at joshuagora.com. All right, well, spring break is right around the corner, and there's plenty going on on South Padre Island and throughout the valley, from live music performances to great fresh-caught seafood to fishing. And for that, you'll definitely need an experienced captain to take you out on the boat. We hit the Rio Hondo waters to learn more. Take a look. Good morning. Uh, my name is Captain Smiley. I'm the owner of Call Me Fishing, uh, fishing charters here in Arroyo City. If you guys are ever down here in Arroyo City, and if you don't know about Arroyo City, it's between Port Mansfield and South Padre Island. It's a small little town, small little fishing community, and it's real nice and quiet. They got little rental houses out here you can stay. And uh, if you can't, if you need one, all you have to do is just give us a call. If you want to go fishing, 
or you need a place to lodge, we can always find you a place. But Arroyo City is a small little town, quiet little town, and it's nice. So uh, basically what we do, we take uh, our customers out there, we go out to the bay, we're fishing in about maybe a foot to two feet of water. Sometimes we're sight casting reds, sometimes we're just going out for trout, depends on what the customer wants. Sometimes you just relax and you forget about the world. You're out there, just, it's you and the fish and the water and you just keep walking and sometimes you walk two or three miles, just didn't even realize you did that. It's, I recommend that you bring your kids out here. Sometimes this new technology where everybody's on a computer, it's on a, uh, or on a phone, you know, Facebook, or they're playing some kind of stuff on there. Once you get your kids hooked on there and they get that first bite and they catch that red or trout, it, it's you're making a memory with your son or your daughter. I've taken many a customers. I have a lot of repeat customers that the kids were didn't know anything how it felt to get a fish, and once they got one, boy, they just they want to keep coming back. And I've got I've got one customer that's been a repeat customer for almost six seven years, and his child was a little like this. Now he's like this, <laughs> and it still comes. And they once a year they book me, and. They brought their son out here, you know, and uh, it, it's just a different experience to be out here with nature. If you've never done it, you need to do it. That's the thing. The, the fishing is, has been good, except right now, uh, depends on when this thing comes out. But, you know, we had, we had a, a freeze and it killed some fish. But it, it, I mean, it did kill some fish, but the fishing, I've seen it worse. I've seen it worse when we've had red tide. And uh, I've seen more, more fish kill with the red tide than I actually saw this year with, with the freeze. I mean, don't get me wrong, fish did die, but there's a lot of fish that still survived and it's still gonna be good. It's gonna be a while for it to come back to where it was, but it's not as bad as a lot of people thought it was. It's just some areas got hit more than others. It's like when you have a hurricane. Some places got demolished and a block away nothing ever happened, you know? So you can't take that and say it's the, it's the whole country or the whole world that that happened to. Basically, mostly you can find me on, on Facebook or you can call me at 956-202-5550 uh, if you've got any questions. And you can call, even you don't have to call to to get a, a, a charter to go fishing. You know, you wanna call, hey, you got any questions? I'll be more than glad to help you out and let you know what's going on or you're looking for a place to lodge, we'll try to help you out too. You know, you don't necessarily have to rent to call me. You just call, we can help you out or point you in the right direction where to go. And like I said, uh, my name is Captain Smiley and the name of my business is Call Me Fishing. There you go. You can contact him by sending him a message on Facebook or call 956-202-5550. Well, earlier we gave you an inside look at the National Days calendar, but what else does today have in store? Well, it's time now for a glimpse at today's birthdays. All right, March the 9th marks the birthday of rapper Bow Wow, TV actor Matthew Gray Gubbler, TV actress Sierra Ramirez, and YouTube star Sedona Fun Kids. There you have it. Be sure to stick around with us for more on Celebrity Birthdays. And if you'd like to submit you or your family's birthday for a special shout out on Valley Por Vida, then feel free to follow our team on social media to get info and go ahead and send us a message with that, those details. All right, well, McAllen Independent School District really supports student involvement in fine art programs. Their district has been named a national best community for music association and education for the past eight years by the National Association of Music Merchants. And our team had the chance to catch up with one of the students for an inside look at his music journey so far. And it just so happens that he has received a full scholarship to Princeton University for one, uh, once he graduates. So here's today's Student Spotlight segment. My name is James Richardson and I'm currently a senior at Nicky Road High School in McAllen, Texas. Made all state again. Uh, I've got first chair in the baritone section and 
Ever since middle school, I've, I've kind of always been in choir, like sixth, seventh, eighth grade. And then like in high school, it wasn't really that different. I've been a member of the varsity mixed choir all four years and every day it's gotten better. And my involvement with the choir program taught me to appreciate music, like being as a means of expression that wins over basic spe speaking in every aspect. For the, like the past two years, it was pretty much the same thing. So like every day I'd go to the choir room or like a practice room, practice like two to three hours a day. I'd be there till like 6 or 7 p.m. like during the week. Except for weekends, I just have like breaks. I didn't touch my all-state music like at all. Um, and this is the third year that I've made state, but this year it's particularly difficult because of all of the challenges that we've had. So like virtual auditions and all that, but I did good. <laughs> Especially now, it's probably like the best accomplishment just because of how hard it was this year. Like the past, like maybe the first year that I made it, it was probably the most exciting. And then last year was kind of like, oh, like, I made it again. But this year I'm like super hyped about it because like I got through that. <laughs> so education kind of helps us find our place in society. And for me, at least, it's catalyzed a lifelong interest in music. Uh, <laughs> in this case, obviously, it'd be choir. And my teachers at McAllen ISD have always helped me understand the importance of education, of course, particularly my choir directors. So they've always convinced me that like, even if I don't want to be a music director in the future, it's still very important for me to keep music in my life throughout college and beyond. So like church choir, or like individual singing. So I'll always remember that from them. So after I graduate, I just got a full ride to Princeton. So I'm going to be studying there. And I'm going to have a major in theoretical computer science. And even though I don't really intend to be like a choir director or anything, at least right now, uh, I'm confident that I'll find a way to keep music in my life, so whether it be like a church choir or doing some composition of my own. And most importantly, I want to thank McCallum and ISD for fostering my permanent interest in choral music and vocal performance. McAllen ISD will continue with the commitment to students' education in the Rio Grande Valley. And if you'd like more information on all student programs like choir, feel free to call the number on your screen or visit their website at McAllenISD.org. All right, well, that's all of our time for now. Thank you again so much for joining us today. And be sure to stick around tomorrow because we've got a lot more in store for you. We'll be talking about how one school is opting away from chips and junk food and rather filling their cafeteria vending machines with books. Don't forget to follow our team also on social media for a look at behind the scenes fun and sneak peeks of what else we've got filming for the show. All this and so much more that's tomorrow on Valley Florida. We'll see you then.